Is that smoke? Okay, so we're driving back. We've got a fully engulfed vehicle fire here. Yeah, no, just, uh, and if you see anybody running out, just, like, get them away from the building. So I think the evacuation is just about complete. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are back in here today with uh, some fire department stuff. This time we're going to be up in the county out of Station 3, if you couldn't tell by the giant 3 there on the engine. Um, so Station 3 is located up in Polito, so it is statewide, so it should we be requested for anything down in the city, you know, we can obviously go assist if we're not on any calls. So real quick, just want to thank you all for helping us hit 7,000 subs here on YouTube. We had the stream for it. You can check out that VOD, uh, but that's just the next milestone. Uh, on our way to 10,000. So make sure you hit the sub button and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right, so we just got our first call of the day. It's going to be an MVC. It's going to be us as engine three and then medic four as well. So um, it's down at 300 East Joshua Road. So it's down in Sandy. So we've got a little bit of ways to go. Not too far, a little over three miles. So we are going to head down that way and uh, see what we can make of the situation. All right, so we're just about on scene. I think we could take one of the sirens off. Uh, I don't know what they're doing there, but good for them. We are, Medic 4 just got on scene and we are rolling up right now as well. So let's see what we got going on. And just three will be on scene. All right, so we do have one patient. My turnout gear is not working, so um, we're going to go see what's going on here. And see what's going on. Looks like he was uh, cop versus local, and local took off. This is a very funny squire. I just, I can't. Hey, Daffy, you got this? Can't see. Yeah, I got it. Can't see. Kinda, what do you mean? I can't yeah, see. Yeah, he's been complaining can't about see. not being able to see. My head is pounding. Oh. Can you see this light? All right, let's open the passenger door and see what's going on here. Oh. Can't, why can't I see? Hold on, let me just check this other eye. Hold on. All right, I want you to close your eyes for me. I'm going to put some gauze over your eyes. I don't want you opening them for the foreseeable future, okay? Okay. All right, just go and take some calm, deep, slow breath. All right, so we're in here, so we're going to help him out. I'm going to wrap this around your head. This is roller gauze, okay? It's just going to be like a soft band-aid all the way around your head. It's just going to hold those gauze pads in place. Okay. All right, apart from not being able to see, obviously, because you can't see anything right now, um, you say you have a massive headache. Scale 1 to 10, how bad is your headache? Uh, it's 100. Alright, we're gonna look over for some physical injuries while, uh, have the, deployed. the medic's looking at them. See if we see any, uh, entrapment issues or any broken bones or anything like that. His stretcher is in the ground. Hello? Check the ears for any blood or yellow fluid coming from them. Do I see anything? Severely broken nose, some minor cuts and bruises. Throughout upper head with minimal to no okay, active just bleeding. Collar to hold your neck in place without you moving. That's his employee, Sir Kokai. He's getting the C spine Thomas. together. Thomas, my name's Jesse. I'm with Blaine County Fire Rescue. To your right, you can't see him, but that's Sean. He's with uh, Station Three, Blaine County Fire. Yeah, I'm right here with you. All right. Okay. I'm right next to you. I think I can hear you. Uh, We're going to get you taken raining. care of, okay? Just take nice deep breaths in for us. Okay, so that's good. Um, oh, the ringing in my ear just got worse. Yeah, so we got four to 30, just try to relax the best you can. I'm going to get you some medicine on board, uh, get you some fluids, take away some of that pain for you. Oh. 
Yeah, so the medic uh, on scene right now is actually, uh, he's even higher ranked than me in terms of like medical care they can John, give you. are a... you a paramedic? Yes. You know what ICP is or double ICP is? Don't. Increased intracranial pressure. Okay. Uh, I'm concerned for that given his injuries. He's got, I almost tried to ignore me, but I'm going to be blunt honest with you. You've got blood coming from your ear. Uh, you have a sunken in section of your head. Your pupils were not reacting when I shined my lights in them, which leads me to believe you have some form of pressure growing inside your brain, or inside your cranial vault, or your skull, <laughs> for another word of that. Oh. Uh, putting putting pressure on your optical nerve or your eye nerves. Um, so my main concern is that you might have some bleeding going on in your brain. That would really not be good. You down to a trauma center. Well, I appreciate being honest to me. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I, I, would say I mean, I learned something. Good news. With what he's saying. But it's not good at all. Well, at guess least he's we still alert. Good news is I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck, don't make, for, don't make me laugh. Yeah, and you're still alert. You're right. still here <clears throat> talking to us, so that's good. All right, Tom. I'm I'm asking you a few more questions. They're gonna sound stupid, but you need to answer okay. them to the best of your ability. Sean, can you get a line going and push some more? Uh, not morphine. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna feel me. Um, Grabbing your uh, right arm, okay? This is where okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the IV in your right arm, all right? I understand. So this medic is I'm very sorry. very smart. I am you, not super smart me. when it comes to you medic stuff. So yes, like he's gonna be super technical and know everything. I'm more of like kind of dumbing it down. <laughs> Looks like I got a vein, okay. so you're gonna kind of feel you're probably gonna feel just a little bee sting as I get this in, okay? I understand. I don't know what the, he said saline. I got a little confused. So we're prepping what we need to prep. We're pushing what he said to push. I have it here. So we're getting them prepped and ready to go. So we're gonna get him all situated in here. Man, I got a big old speed zone up. Got a helicopter landing. Mm. What'd you say you were pumping into me? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Um, this is pretty much just gonna help help you out uh, kind of take away the pain just a little bit there just so we can uh, make you a little more comfortable to get you down to the uh, down to the city okay okay yeah I should just take like you should it'd probably take like a like a maybe a minute or two to be fairly quick okay all right Thomas good news helicopters here and also better news it's highway Oh, All right, I got, I, got his, uh, I got his IV line in, so yeah, he's uh, he's ready to go. Let's go ahead and get him some morphine. About four milligrams will be plenty. All right. It'll should do some magic. All right, and then load up uh, ten milligrams of ketamine. All right, Thomas, we're going to be giving you some ketamine and some morphine. The morphine's going to make your pain go away, and the ketamine's going to make you forget. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> your pain's going to go away, and the ketamine's going to make you forget. It's like, uh, living in a dream for the next 30 minutes. All right, it's all pushed in. He's ready. All right, let's get him on a KED. Let's hope and, I can uh, see things in this dream. We should be. Let's get a KED on him. Um, transfer him to the board out here, and then uh, get him on the bird. All right, Thomas, this is a KED. It's basically a uh, backboard, but half of half the size. Yes, KED is a, uh, pretty yeah. much like an Freaking extrication feeler. device. Good. So I'm putting that on so we can get him secured. We're going to yeah, throw him on the backboard good. and that then get him airlifted down to the city. My back. Yeah. So uh, we've got a helicopter yeah. unit landed down there over in the uh, middle of the road. Looks like an HP uh, helicopter. All right. John on the count of three, myself, you, and the county partners are all going to pick up Mr. Thomas here and share it from to the stretcher. Let right. me go get it, actually. That'd be, that'd be helpful. Sure thing. I want to just hold him in the air for 30 minutes. His stretcher is floating in the midair right now. That's got to be my eyes. Good, good good oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, better than nothing. Fire pulling out of the bottom side. All right. <clears throat> Let me go let him up on your bird, and then I'll transfer him.
Why is the stretcher doing that? Well, at least I didn't have to see it. All right, we're going to put our med bag away, and then we're going to radio in to dispatch and let them know that the patient's going to be transported out. And that we're going to need a tow for our, uh, our medic. Our medic's box here. Engine 3, fire control. Engine 3. Engine 3, I'm going to be cleared off the call at 300, return to quarters. We can get uh, fleet services for Medic 4's uh, apparatus. They received fleet service being around. 749. Strawberry Avenue, commercial fire alarm, 749. So as we're leaving the scene, we're going down to another one. Down in the city, 749. Receive engine 3, if I can get you en route to the box, 749. Put box to the medical center for the fire. Engine 3 copies, is that going to be upper or lower pillbox? I believe lower. Yeah, lower is as well. Engine 3 copies of being route. Alright, so, uh... uh come in to Engine 3. When you get here, can you take the upper side? I'm on the lower side. Access issues, so you're going to have to try to get to the top. Yeah, Engine 3 copies, so I'll uh, take upper. Alright, so as, we, like, the second we left that last call just now, um... We got attached to a commercial fire alarm at Pillbox Medical Center uh, down in the city. Uh, looks like Engine 2 is also going to be activating. Uh, truck 8 is on the scene. Uh, they're lower pillbox, so we are going to head down and go to upper pillbox. Uh, hopefully I can get my uh, uniform to uh, get out, but uh, we'll get down there and see what's up. All right, so we just got from uh, command, from pillbox command here, that we're going to lay a line up top and then lay it into the system so we can get water going from the fire hydrant into the truck into the building and uh apply water to the entire building so we're gonna do that we're just about on scene here <laughs> just he's on sound and scene i'll be setting up lines Do you guys want us to do anything specific? We have draft control covered on both sides if possible already. Um, you guys need. Yeah, no, just, uh, and if you see anybody running out, just like get them away from the building. So I think the evacuation is just about complete. So we can have that done. And then I don't know if you want to put a car right here just so that no one runs over my lines or anything like that. That'd be excellent. Sure, no problem. We'll, we're gonna, we'll shut down the road over here as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we're going to come in here and find where we can connect the line into the wall. All right, we got the line hooked up into the building. We're going to come over here and we're going to get everything cranked on. Engine 3 pillbox command. Good. Lines have been set and hooked into the building system. So we're being told now that the fire is actually on the rooftop of this uh, overhang here. So I think we're going to have to try to figure out a way to stretch our line up here. Engine 3, you want me to try and head up to the uh, rooftop and see if I can see anything from up there? If you want to leave your truck in place in case we need... Uh, the building, but if you want to come down to the south side, the lower side. All right, copy. I'll head down the uh, lower side. I'll leave my truck there just so the building uh, has the water it needs. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all the smoke down here. Good. direct to pillbox. Oh, they're getting a bunch of stuff set up and it's screwing my textures. Make my way downtown. Come on, let's go. Run. I got stuck on some shit. Uh, engine 3, can you bring your ground ladder up the stick? Bring it to this level 1. Yeah, copy. Alright, so we're going to grab a ladder. No suitable vehicle found. Sick. Let's go to this one. Ladder collected. All right, got the letter right here. So I was having some uh, world issues yeah, getting it up. 
Just wanted to ladder this little uh, step over here to see if we can get up on this part of the room. Okay. Good. Let's get this ladder set up now. We're up on the first part. Oh, that's a little close. Let's get a little right there. Sir, when you come out here, can you actually bring a... Uh, we're going to need to run a line off the truck here um, from the stick. On Come on. I I hate that my OCD wants it to be like perfect. All right, place. There we go. Oh. No. I just want to put this shit away. If you just want to bring hose up the top, we can connect. The there we go. Stick and uh, blow up the end. Climb up the ladder here. We're gonna need see to what's going on. I'm not seeing any flames really from this side. I'm just seeing smoke. Seems like there's a lot of smoke coming from the bay. So I'm not seeing the anti-flames. It's just a lot of smoke and we're just unsure where it's coming from. You know, like being, it might be good even to be right there. Cause if we could be right there on the highway, if we could, if the flames were right here, I would say be up on the highway and then shoot water from the uh, deck gun over. So we're gonna, we're gonna go down, down the ladder, get away from the ladder so I can put that away. I've got some scene control. I gotta keep moving because my pass alarm's on. Okay, so it's the AC unit that's smoldering. Is that what it is? That's a lot of smoke. I uh, see the smoke's uh, dissipating. We'll head back down. I think it's an AC unit over here. That, so apparently there's an AC unit over here that I believe might be the the culprit for what's on fire. We just need to get some of the smoke out of the building now and we should be okay. Okay. Maybe we can help him with the fans and ventilation real quick. Sure. I'll head down and help with that. All right, so it was an AC unit that uh, I guess was smoldering and causing all the smoke. So now we're going to help with uh, getting some fans and ventilation going inside the hospital to get the smoke out. I'm going to turn my pass alarm off. All right, I think we got some everything set up down here. So I'm going to go up and start taking my... Uh, my hose is down from uh, my truck up, up top. Yeah, you can uh, disconnect and start packing up and heading out of here. Thanks for your help. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So we're going to walk back up to our engine and take everything down and uh, pack it up. We were just uh, they're just venting out the hospital now and then they'll be letting people go back in. So we got to make the long truck all the way back up. Let's see if our our truck is actually still up there. Yep. All right, so our engine's still here. We're gonna start breaking down the lines, getting it packed up, and then we'll be able to uh, break out of here. All right, well, that scene's wrapped up. We cleaned up all of our stuff. They're getting the roads open back up here, and now we've got the nice six and a half mile drive all the way back to station three. So that's gonna be nice and lovely. Uh, so we're gonna head back that way, and uh, yeah. Is that smoke? What is going on here? Okay, so we're driving back. We've got a fully engulfed vehicle fire here. Good. 1217, Blank County Fire Rescue. 240, Route 68. 240, Route 68. Got one male. Looks to have a self inflicted gun gunshot wound to the head. Uh, three, are you in, able to take that by chance? Engine three, I just pulled up to a fully engulfed vehicle fire here at 585 on the highway right outside the casino. All right, so we just pulled up to uh, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, vehicle fire. Looks like it might be uh, Groupie 6. I don't know. That is a Groupie 6 car, so we're going to put our ship back on. Um, let's get our turnout back on and ready to go. Guess engine three is going to work today, huh? 
I guess so. I mean, I can't even get back. Last time I saw this, said Blaine County, not the city. <laughs> you know? Um. Appreciate it. When I pulled up, I saw someone walking up the uh, grass to the uh, off ramp. Okay. All right. We'll take a look. For so it. I'm going to do a size up real quick on it here. Um, we are going to get our pass alarm put back on. Hello? Pass alarm? Do a size up here, see what's going on with this fire. All right, fully engulfed vehicle fire. We are on scene here. We got LEO as well. I see no one. Okay. Well, we are full of water from that last scene. So uh, with it being a vehicle fire, I'm just going to get in and hit it with the deck gun. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. All right, so I'm full of water. So I'm going to grab a line here, um, pull it off and hook it up and get this going. Start working this fire. This thing is blazing. I think we had a previous episode where we had a vehicle fire. This thing is like... This thing is going pretty damn good. It's a G6 car. Pretty sure I heard some tires popping too. Let's try and get this uh, taken care of on the other side of the wall here as well. Alright, this fire is pretty intense. So uh, I'm actually going to hit it with my deck gun. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and check uh, the Groupie 6 uh, vehicle here now, now that we got the fire out and see uh, see what we got. Hello. So we ended up finding the Groupie 6 officer. Uh, he said that the car just started overheating while he was driving, so he pulled over. And uh, before he could even get out, it started sparking and stuff, so he hmm. ran up the hill. So that's the person you saw running, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, yeah, when I went down to the uh, the pillbox call, um, they were talking on the radio that he was involved with, like, around... Like, this might be, like, the third or fourth fire thing he's been involved with here. Oh, really? Something like that, yeah. Do you want, uh... Do you guys have any FML? No, I'm the only one here right now. Let's say if we have any FML, we can go speak to them or something. See if we can figure it out. If you, I mean, if you see any foul players on the let us know. He's going to group his, to... No, I don't think there's any foul play. It's just weird coincidences. All right, no problem. I got a hot spot here. Let me grab this real quick. Appreciate it. Engine, need one more time. Me or bots. All right, so we're just finishing packing up our lines now. We're gonna take off our turnout gear. I don't think there's any FMO on, um, so we are just gonna put back on our what we had when we left the last call. Um, we'll go let them know that uh, everything is good to go here. You guys can see my walk style. Um, hello, Siren. Oh, he's there. They are booking it. Oh, they are booking it. Are they good? All right, I'm going to let them know they're good. There's no one in that car. Uh, that I'm out of here, fire's out, and they can do what they want with it. So, oh my God, they are back here. You guys are getting a lot of practice with the uh, traffic control today, huh? Yeah, you know, we're trying to make it work, man. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, everything is all set with the car. It's not, there's no more hotspots, so it's... Uh, I mean, it's a safe to approach, but better safe to get towed because that thing is all charred up. So um, I tried to see if there's any FMO on. It looks like it's going to be county FMO, um, but it's going to be all your guys. All right, done for. Uh, I believe we have county tow coming out for it also. All right, sounds good. All right, you guys take it easy. Thanks again for your help. No problem. Have Appreciate a good one. it. You too. All right, let's get in our, uh, our engine and hopefully far away was I six and a half miles and let's see how far away we are now we were six and a half miles away and then now we're seven point five point seven six so we didn't even make it a mile from leaving pillbox 
You can still see pillbox. Um, so cool. He's going to clean up the cones. They're going to get that car towed and we are going to head back up to our station. All right. Well, that felt like it took absolutely forever to get back up here. My ambulance is missing. Um, interesting. Anyway, ambulance is missing, but, uh, we're still here. So eh, it works Eh, whatever. All right, everybody. Well, I appreciate you coming and check out this super quick episode. Uh, I've just a few scenes there. I um, wanted to get in and just do fire for a little bit. So I appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you all in the next episode.